My name is uh, Gert Langfried. I'm a professor at the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at UCSD. Uh, my main research interests are in machine learning, convex optimization, and music information retrieval. And so I teach ECE 13, uh, Introduction to Computer Engineering, which basically teaches the students how to um, you know, build a simple computer, uh, a processor, and memory of a simple computer, and how to program that at a very low level, assembly level uh, language. And I teach uh, graduate classes as well in machine learning and optimization, um, you know, which are basically related to you know the broader topic of artificial intelligence. Well, you know, when I was younger, I, I liked engineering a lot, so that's how I got into engineering. And um, I tried mechanical engineering actually for a short while, about half a year, but I didn't like it as much. And um, you know, I chose electrical engineering because you know very often it's about things you can actually you know see with the with a straight eye, so it's a little more you know conceptual and abstract, but still like you know when you design the concepts, they seem to work. When you build a chip, it works, right? So that's how I got into electrical engineering, and then um, you know after that, I got more and more interested in you know software and artificial intelligence, basically you know using the chips and everything to kind of you know simulate the human brain, and so that's how I got into data mining, machine learning, artificial intelligence, in which I did my PhD as well at uh, UC Berkeley for uh, five years, and then. Um, you know, during my PhD, I got more and more interested in applications in music, and it was only when I arrived here that I really, you know, could put down my own vision and start my own lab, and you know, started doing research on uh, music information retrieval. So there's first of all, there's a lot of <laughs> non-school related reasons to come to UCSD. Um, but second of all, I think for especially, and I can talk to the students that you know would relate to the field that I'm mostly interested in, which is you know electrical engineering, signal processing, machine learning. Um, you know, I think there is a very strong uh, core set of faculty here that are doing research in these you know fields: electrical engineering, signal processing, machine learning. In this school here, um, and um, you know, of course, there's 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 big schools as well. There's a Berkeley and an MIT, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, in the past ten years, the school has really gotten up to you know getting close to um, you know the, the really big buffs out there. And I've heard some undergraduate students uh, tell me, in fact, they say like, you know what, I went to UCSD because it feels like buying a stock when it was still affordable, but it's only going to go up and you know become worth as much as you know a degree from some of the really big schools. So you know, I would tell students like really think about it. I mean, um, it, it's one of the schools that has made most progress over the past 10, 20 years in terms of uh, you know the research, the teaching, and everything. Um, so it might be a very uh, very good place to invest some time in um, you know for the next four years. So. Well, I think that you know the research that we're working on right now. Uh, certainly has some surprising elements. I mean, I'm not sure whether you guys are aware of it, but um, you know, I don't think there's very many services out there where you could go look for some, you know, romantic music with saxophone or some energetic running music or something like that. Basically, looking for music of an artist that um, you don't know um, or a song name that you don't know. Basically, long tail music, music that's totally unknown to all of us, which could be out there on MySpace, millions of songs. And you know, if you tell a student like you know, you now have one minute and give me you know a hundred examples of romantic songs on MySpace, they'll be like, well, that's not possible. I wouldn't know how to do that. We build a system that can do that. That can listen to you know millions of songs overnight, and then you know put them all into a database. And then the morning after, if somebody comes in and says like, hey, I want some romantic music with saxophone in one second, basically like Google does it, you can provide them with that information. So. I would think the students would be really surprised by that because there's really, I mean, as far as I know, not really a good service like a Google for Music out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's certainly uh, one impressive part, I would say. You know, I, I like to travel a lot. Uh, if I could, I can't. I haven't been traveling very much in the past three, four years at all, but uh, that's certainly one of my hobbies. Um, I also like music. And that's something that I sometimes still do, you know, I have a keyboard sitting around in my room and sometimes I take a break and just play some keyboards, you know. Um, but again, you know, there's not so much spare time uh, right now. I think that, you know, the projects we're doing are so exciting that everybody just keeps pushing and pushing on them, you know, and then I have to push with them, right, so. Um, I think there's a lot of undergraduate students when they graduate from their undergrad that think like, you know what, I have enough of school, I want to get out, I want to do something else. 
and you know, to a certain extent, it's true. Maybe it's good to like you know take six months off, take twelve months off, maybe you know get a temporary job, something like that, to kind of like you know get get out of it for for a second. But I do think that there's a lot of undergraduate students that actually underestimate the, uh, you know, how different graduate school from undergraduate school is. And um, because in undergrad, you know, you're supposed to make homework because the professors give them to you. In graduate sc school, you are the one that actually defines the homework. You are the one that defines the problem that is interesting to you and that you want to solve. And it's a very different kind of, you know, mechanics of, of being in school. And I think a lot of students underestimate how much fun it is. And so I would really, really want to, you know, encourage them, like, consider it truly going to grad school. Because it's a lot of fun. It's really the time that you can apply everything you've learned from the undergrad. Now you can apply it to solve, you know, the problem that you're interested in. Because, again, the research we're doing on, you know, um, music information retrieval, it's because the graduate students like it. It's because they also really want to do that. You know, I, I wouldn't take a student and, like, force them to work on music if they don't want to do it because they, in the first place, want to do that. You know, so I would really kind of give them that message. Consider it. Don't just think that graduate school would be another five years of school like you just went through. You know?